Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, I am very happy to be finally continuing my series of Ninjago crystallized episode reviews now that we have episode 13, A Sinister Shadow, in English. This video will simply be my review and my opinions of the episode in question, and I'm going to be giving you guys a very heavy spoiler warning right away. This review will contain spoilers for the episode at hand and all other episodes of Crystallize that we have so far. My goal for this review is to discuss the positives and negatives of the episode, and finally, towards the end of the video, Video, give the episode a score out of 10. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and dive on into it. In terms of the episode right here, we have ourselves basically the origin story of Harumi. The episode wastes no time diving into Harumi's origin, how she survived the fall during Ninjago Hunted, and where she's been this entire time. And I love how this was actually presented right here. The flashbacks are really emotional, really moving. There's a lot of time spent in this weird void between realms where Harumi herself talks directly to the Crystal King, otherwise known as the Overlord. They do reveal that officially in this episode as well. And I enjoyed the focus on Harumi's story here. The episode is almost entirely dedicated to that backstory, and I absolutely loved that. As a huge fan of Harumi, it was nice to see how she fit into the background of several of these Ninjago seasons as the Vengestone buyer. And yeah, the episode also reveals the Crystal King, otherwise known as the Overlord in the flesh, and I think for the most part he is fantastic in this episode. His voice is different, yet it's also very intimidating at the same time. I love the English voice that they chose for the Crystal King or the Overlord this go-round. And as I said, it's exciting to see just how exactly his storyline ties in with Harumi's, and where this villainous team up originated from. We also get some new context in the Lloyd and Harumi relationship, which I'm a pretty big fan of as well, and I loved seeing how Lloyd actually went back during the events of Ninjago Hunted to look for Harumi's corpse under the building rubble. Again, I did a separate video talking about that entire scene, and it's very tragic, very emotional, and I just loved seeing that piece of Ninjago lore that was excluded from Ninjago Hunted, and I loved how that relationship was presented in this episode right here. I imagine this is just the start of the Lloyd and Harumi dynamic that we're going to be seeing throughout this entire season. Also, in terms of positive aspects, the music in this episode was really well done. I loved how they complimented Harumi's backstory with this epic music. I thought the music this go-round was really well done, especially. And overall, this episode, while it doesn't really move a lot forward in terms of a plot, it definitely establishes Harumi's backstory in this season, and shows the audience why she matters, and why this is essentially her comeback. In terms of this episode, I couldn't really find anything that I downright hated or despised. I will say there is one little brief joke here that didn't really work, and I do think there are some dialogue choices that are a bit questionable here. But overall, this episode was fantastic. Fantastic. I loved seeing Harumi's origin and her backstory, and that being the main focus of this episode was fantastic for me. Overall, in terms of Ninjago Crystallized Episode 13, A Sinister Shadow, I'm going to be giving it a 10 out of 10 in terms of a score. Pretty perfect episode, I'd say, only with a couple of minor nitpicks here and there that I really don't think matter at the end of the day. So with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed listening to my thoughts on Episode 13 of Ninjago Crystallized. Leave a comment down below discussing what you thought about this episode, and hopefully you look forward to my other videos and my other episode reviews, hopefully coming very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again later. Peace.